It's like a it's like a nineties like rap video, you know? It's we're here at the shop and we're doing hip hop things. <laughs> I'll tell you when to go slow. You're good for now. It's being suspended a little bit. It's not touching the ground yet. Yeah, just keep coming. Um, slow now, stop. Okay. Roll back one inch because you'll run my arm over. All right, you're good to send it. LSO 2J. Depends what I can get for cheaper. <laughs> 2J. So we're out here at Rad Industries and Rad Dan is about to light off some fireworks in the back, dude. We got this dope ass shop. Let's go hang out. Make sure it's lit and then throw it in there. It's gonna be good. So what are you doing, dude? Get closer! Oh, come on! Oh my god! It tips over and shoots quicker than I! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh dude, the alarm went off again! Some... If any of you guys are into drifting, you guys should definitely give him a follow. Rad Dan Drift, Rad Industries. He's a Pro One FD driver. He's got this sick ass 2J Supra. Crazy build. Give him a follow. Okay. And go back and forth to my uh, Transa. Yeah. And then I'll come back in and drift. If you go out there. Uh, today we're in San Antonio, Texas. 
waiting for Chelsea's um, drift clinic, which starts in about an hour. We just Uber Eats some pho to the uh, to the van here. We'll sit on the side of the road. So we're chilling out right now behind the classroom location, and uh, my new Axel just came into town. Literally hand delivered. Yeah, dude. He was like, "Hey, did you just order an Axel?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I did." So shout out Jay from SFR for one daying this out here. And shout out Chelsea's friend that we don't actually know that He's Danny. accepted delivery yeah, for Yeah, Danny. Him. But we're gonna check this socket that I have for the T40 axle and see if it fits. works for his because we don't have it. This is the only big socket we have. Bigger T40. Oh, okay. All right. Is that the money? Ah, uh, the 241's bigger. Hold on, I might have another one. Oh, he might have another one. All right, so. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, hopefully we'll be able to swap the diff tonight. We're probably gonna do it in a hotel parking lot, roadkill style, so it should be interesting. Is it diff blue or no? Hmm? Is it diff blue? Or is it just like yeah, the actual? the mount broke out. The good news is this one is really hard to find, the big ass ones, but something for this, this is not the right size, but that's smaller, so it should be easier. Range. Let me click it, sorry guys. Look at this beauty. So this part goes into the diff. Definitely this, uh, seen better days. It's definitely a yeah, Connecticut no, no. accent. Yeah, it looks looks New England, but thankful that we have it. Yeah, so. it's better than broken. Yeah. You mentioned about the sidewall. You start losing grip in different ways. So whenever you lower the tire pressure, you're pretty much always gaining grip in a forward direction. Meaning when your rear tires are facing wherever they're facing, when you smash on the gas, it's Look at Orion side wearing gloves, prepared to work on his car in the cold and look at me. It's fucking freezing. Look at me. Alright, so the classroom session at the Chelsea Denofa Drift Clinic is sick. Lots of very useful knowledge. But unfortunately, this is the part that I've been dreading. Well, let me show what time it is. This is straight roadkill. It's practically midnight. And I have to pull my car, we have to unload the whole trailer because my car is in the front. And then uh, I gotta pull the diff out, put the new axle in, put the new diff in. Maybe it'll be good? I don't know. Well, uh, we'll have to find out. It's cold out here too, so let's get to work. This diff is still good, but the only reason I can't use it right now is because this bolt is stuck in there. Look at that hole right there. That's the main failure point of this uh, differential is that this bolt under high load will snap off into the fucking casing, which sucks. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a new cover or extract that, but the 1.5 way is still good. Uh, now I just gotta kinda Get that open diff or the welded diff in there. Switch this axle out. Oh, yeah. See, that's not supposed to come apart like that. You sure? You sure it's not quick release? Yeah, this is a quick release uh, axle, as you can see. Um, what makes it really good is that the wheel can spin freely without spinning the differential. So that's like unlimited power. Oh man, look at this I know. Jay came through. Let's get that in there. We got some driving to do tomorrow. Oh, money. Look at that. So we had to go th to uh, three different parts stores this morning to find this one bolt. And it uh, fits perfectly. 
new diff is now installed. Everything is tight. I'm about to get this wheel back on and then it should be good to go. I'm gonna leave the exhaust off for the rest of this trip since pretty much we're drifting tomorrow and uh, that's really about it. There's no sound rules here, so I'm gonna leave the exhaust off. It's gonna be loud. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel, dude. Accomplished, maybe? No, you over it. <laughs> so, let's start it. Day one, as usual. Is there a tire machine here? Yeah. Out here, San Antonio Raceway, day two of Chelsea Denofa's Drift Clinic. About to hit the track. That's a wrap out here at Chelsea Denofa's Drift Clinic. Had a really good time. This 
despite the rain. Um, it was still really fun, you know, mix it up once in a while. I've done a ton of dry events, so it was nice to get out in the rain, see what the car will do in the rain. Um, now we're cleaning up. We're gonna pack up now and head home. Nine miles per gallon. That's so shit. We just made it in Houston. We're gonna try to bang out the whole day. Uh, yeah, we'll whole see. Whole night, actually, whole night. But. We'll see how these pilot coffees come in handy. So we'll see it. We'll see how it goes. If we gotta stop, we got cops. <laughs>